Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition on Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS users and Google Play for Android users to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viper Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just click on the link in this video to join. Hello everyone and Katribu, I'm Dina Ventura and I'm Francine Marquez and, and welcome, welcome to, to Perfect. Perfect. Good afternoon Dina. Hi Francine, you look nice today. Thank you, because it became a bit chilly. It's already chilly weather, no? oh, so I oh, have no. to wear this scarf. Oh, oh. Where'd you get it? Oh, this beautiful thing. I uh -huh. got it from this popular fair that's held every year. Mm. And last year they had it at the Peninsula Manila. It's called Maarte Fair, everyone's oh, favorite fair. Perfect. Yeah, and you, you look nice in your olive green yeah. jumpsuit, ready to dive. <laughs> I got it in Zalora. <laughs> Zalora, <laughs> oh. So, ano, so talaga halatang shopping era talaga yes, tayo, oh. ano? <laughs> so, talaga, I think we're gonna enjoy our conversation this afternoon. Yes, definitely. Kasi today we have... Two people who are after our own heart because of local shopping and retail therapy in the time of pandemic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, our first guest is the president of the Museum Foundation of the Philippines. He also runs a, 
Avellano Art Gallery. We have Mr. Albert Avellana. And our next guest is the co-founder, managing director of Zalora Philippines. He's also the CEO of the company. We have Mr. Paolo Campos. So, good afternoon, gentlemen, <clears throat> Paolo and Good Albert. afternoon. Welcome to Perfect. Yes, hello, hello. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Great to be with you. Yes, thanks, thanks. Thanks for having... I don't know. It's the time of the year. Shopping season talaga. Oh, nga. With or without the... Well, you know, for me, shopping never stops. Joke. Oh, of course. <laughs> things that are essential... Things that you need or things that you want to give away, no? Right. Things that make you that. happy. Yes, yes. Okay. Make happiness. <laughs> <laughs> so, for our first question, hello and welcome again. We want to know, how, how have you been during the pandemic? Uh, what kept you busy? Yeah, what insights did you learn from navigating this entire period? We're already in our eighth month, no? How about you, Albert? What are your insights? Mm-hmm. Yes. No, early, early times when I was lucky at home. Oh. I'm lucky to have my glorious and my day boys, so my dinners and my lunches are next door. So my exercise was like 12, 12 meters away. Oh. So I actually gained the no, lockdown weight at 12 pounds. <laughs> oh, I feel it in my... What about the gallery? What was happening during that time? During the time we were closed until mm. around June and we were allowed to go out, you know, I started picking up the gallery, but uh, we held on our exhibits until the artists are ready. Mm. But it's uh, alive, it's still there. I keep moving things around, so when you visit, maybe it will surprise you again. Mm. Exciting, That's looking always. forward to that. <laughs> I know galleries are open. What about museums? As president of the Museum Foundation, what's happening? Our museum mm-hmm. Museums are on the last list of uh, those that are allowed to open. Okay. And how about you, Paolo? I I suppose very busy since <laughs> online shopping was the thing, you uh, know? Oh, well, been... It's been a very busy period uh, this, during the pandemic. What we saw was that... Uh, you know, because all of us have been stuck at home mm. uh, for the past eight months, the e-commerce has really become um, a new, uh, not only a trend, but, but uh, you know, an aspect of somehow daily life for a lot of Filipinos now. Uh, so it's kept us very busy as a company mm-hmm. um, over the past eight months. Um, and we're very excited to be partnering with the Museum Foundation uh, for this uh, uh, new and exciting initiative to bring more mm-hmm. Fair online. Yeah, so, yeah. But did you ever stop operations during the pandemic? I mean, in terms of the delivery, logistics, and oh. all. I suppose that was a challenge, no, Paolo? It was, certainly. So, in the, uh, at the onset of the ECQ back in March, uh, we actually, for the first time in our company history, actually had to shut down our fulfillment center uh, for three or four weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, the DTI at the time was only allowing us to fulfill essential items, which mm-hmm. at the time did not include mm-hmm. fashion or clothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we did to adapt was we actually onboarded a whole range of new products and categories on the law, including essential items. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were able to start operations again in May. And since May, it's been a very dramatic increase of, uh, of uh, e-commerce adoption and interest yeah. in the country. I know that Zalora has beautiful, cu- beautifully curated, curated, stylish products. So, what essentials were added? I mean, you know, like plain face masks at the start, surgical mm-hmm. at the onset. We 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 would certainly. So we may not have quite an extensive ca- category of face masks, uh, but even uh, sanitizers and other personal care items. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also recently entered uh, officially the home and living category. So you can also find now uh, decorative items for the home, mm. um, which is a category we didn't really have before, before. the pandemic. Um, and this is on top of daily essentials. So we have introduced a section of, uh, of other daily essentials, food and medicine products as well. Um, so, so we do have a full assortment now on top of our uh, core fashion assortment uh, for our customers to to. Uh, shop online with us for. Okay. Um, so, uh, Paula, tell us uh, how the partnership with the Museum Foundation came about. Yeah, or who came first? Well, <laughs> yeah, no, because first. I think it was, uh, it was a mutual 
it was meant to happen because I think uh, the uh, number of the uh, the Albert and the senior leadership team of the um, museum foundation they were exploring ideas about how they could adapt as well mm -hmm. given the situation we found ourselves in with the lockdown. Uh, I think uh, the on our side we were also very interested, of course, to be able to extend our platform um, as a medium and a means mm -hmm. to support the Filipino talent and brands. Uh, that the uh, Museum Foundation supports at the market there. So uh, we jumped at the chance to be able to be the partner to bring Marte online uh, this year um, in the, in, in, during these pandemic times and still allow the exhibitors of the fair and, and we're very happy to, uh, to, to, to be featuring 15 of the exhibitors of the fair uh, to, to still reach an audience and now uh, as you mentioned that in the past they would have had to go to the Peninsula Hotel to, yes. to, to access these exhibitors, now it's a nationwide audience that uh, we've wow. been able to extend to, uh, to the Marta Fair exhibitors uh, so we're very excited and, and very appreciative to Albert and the team for their help in, uh, in, in, in arranging this very exciting partnership. And we think it's a sign of things to come mm. um, in the future as e-commerce becomes yeah. more, uh, more exciting. Even more widespread, I suppose, right? Indeed, indeed. <laughs> so Albert, uh, what were your plans before you approached Salora? What were well, you thinking of? We were actually preparing for the opinions of the mm. Maarte, no? And mm. uh, we, as you said, you know, how do we top up the pop-ups of last year, which was very successful? Well, uh, things happen, I say. Mm -hmm. And I think this top up pop-ups, we were finally pushed to go into the new norm of the e-commerce. Uh, we ourselves and MFPIs and our exhibitors, it was a challenge. It was very challenging to adapt to the online platform. A lot of, uh, we had to comply with Zalora's uh, requirements, no? but we believe in Zalora and Zalora is a very good platform. That's why we chose to be with them because Museum Foundation is not a commercial entity. And I would not set up our own online shopping. We'd rather partner with somebody who's already experienced and experts with the logistics and the whole setup. Mm -hmm. And it helped us a lot, probably made it easier for us to continue what we're trying to do for Museum Foundation, for our partners, for the exhibitors. Now, a lot of them, since we opened last Friday, they were happy. We have this weekly sort of town hall meetings every Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. We share, we update each other. And it was very it was a very nice meeting. The first uh, after in fact the opening afternoon, we had a regular cocktails. Mm -hmm. We had Zoom cocktails. So we had all the stories that they woke so up receiving emails for a few minutes. Usually, mo arte fair kasi happens in August. Was there a yes. possibility that it could have been cancelled this year? Ah, well, it was, we, actually, we really announced cancellation to the exhibitors early on when uh, we did not see any bright light of what was happening mm -hmm. until we there was an idea of going online and I was introduced to Paolo by Vicky Delandoni, why don't you try with Zalora? Mm. And uh, it was just a phone call away. Wow. And <laughs> it was a good, you know, good vibes, you know. I asked him, are you are you willing to host Maarte? Because Maarte is not your regular Zalora stuff, you know. And uh, you'll be working with small entrepreneurs, you know, small businesses, mm. startups. Yes. And they were really happy. And... Uh, also because they wanted to help uh, our, our Museum Foundation's mission of helping the National Museum and our cultural projects. So that was a big thing for them uh, to accept what we do and support us. In that way, the support extends to the, the artisans, you know, the other communities, all the startup uh, Companies. Startup mompreneurs too. But 
Paolo, in true pandemic fashion, you've always met only through virtual meetings? Yes, this whole collaboration was given birth to and executed virtually. Um, all of the different steps required to onboard all of the different merchants uh, mm -hmm. were done uh, online via, via Zoom and, and via uh, digital communication. So this is indeed an example of how innovation has mm -hmm. really um, forced us in a way to, to adapt and to uh, partner in a, in a very agile way. It was a, a very easy, uh, easy partnership, and we're very happy to hear that the uh, exhibitors who uh, have done online with us are uh, are also getting good feedback and, yeah. and, and happy that they have a, an online presence now mm -hmm. uh, through our digital version of the Mario Fair. Uh, so certainly we uh, we couldn't be happier about the partnership, and uh, we hope that we can it can be the first of uh, of many like it. Uh, we're very committed to. Mm -hmm. Um, featuring homegrown Filipino talent, Filipino brands, um, entrepreneurs, uh, as Albert mentioned, SMEs, MS, MSMEs. We have the platform uh, such that uh, brands and partners and entrepreneurs can list their products on our platform while still actually holding on to the stock. And mm. we, they would only have to fulfill the items once, it, once the items are sold on our platform. Oh. So it makes it actually quite easy uh, for um, the types of uh, brands and exhibitors that, that Mark has featured over the years mm -hmm. uh, to go online easily and virtually mm -hmm. um, despite everything that's happening around us. Oh, so ganun pala yung process nila. It's, like, it's not like uh, Zalora will, will keep the products in your warehouse in your or something. Space, in ah, space. okay. Exactly, exactly. And, and that's made it very easy for us to, again, uh, work with these entrepreneurs who, who themselves are, you know, used to um, processing their own orders and then mm. packing their own items. So we would just pick up the uh, item from them mm. and fulfill it to the end customer uh, as part of our process. Mm. Um, and it works for everyone. So we're very excited that we were able to uh, bring my TFA online this year um, with, with the exhibitors being very happy with the partnership. Paolo, have you ever been to any of the Maarte fairs? <laughs> I have, certainly. So I, I was at the, the, last, uh, the last one. I was, that, that actually what made the conversation very fast and easy for them was very familiar with uh, what, what they do in the offline, in the peninsula setting specifically, um, and then very familiar with the causes and advocacies, of course, that the Museum Foundation also supports. So, so that's another area of interest of ours is promoting, um, you know, uh, our social responsibility, um, and we're very happy to be able to uh, spread additional awareness for the message and, and causes of the foundation uh, through our work here. Um, and we hope indeed that this is not a one-off, but yeah. something that we can continue to do over the years, and both for the Marte Fair as a format, but also uh, together with uh, Albert and the. Museum Foundation of the Philippines um, oh, advocacy. Yeah, it's good to know. And one of the things that always excites shoppers is the visual party that happens during a Maarte Fair. So I was wondering, how would it look like this year? How are you trying to ramp up from the last block party you had last year? Mm -hmm. But Albert, before you answer that, <laughs> we'll pause for a break from our sponsors. Shopping na lang ako. Hello, can you get the following? One pink chair, bed sheets, na pink yung sofa, tapos slide size eight, pajamas na blue. Oh, don't forget my Wait lang. Okay ba yan? Anything at the SM store, ma'am. Kuya, pwede rin ba ako magpa-deliver sa ate ko sa Taguig tapos sa friend ko sa Davao at saka sa... Yeah. 
yan sa iyo salita. Okay ba yan? Kahit saan po, pwede kami mag-deliver. Hello, and we're back. This is Perfect. I'm with the gorgeous Dina Ventura. And I'm the very Tita Francine. I know. <laughs> and we're back with our... Special guest. Gentlemen, special guest, Albert Avellana of the Museum Foundation of the Philippines and Mr. Paolo Campos of Zalora, Philippines. And we're talking about the exciting collaboration between Moarty Fair and Zalora sometime this month or in the coming It's already month. ongoing. It's already I think, ongoing. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. yes. So, Albert, before we had a break, I was asking, how are you trying to wrap it up this year? Yeah. I mean, the past Moarty Fairs were always visual party. Party. fun to go to. Where's the party this time? Yes, how is the party <laughs> happening this year? Actually, you know, I'm challenged because of visuals. So, uh, it's, again, it's something new to us because we have to follow protocol and standards of Zalora. Yes. Uh, even with the images, the pictures submitted. But these are all, all complemented by our own social media campaign with a different type of styling, but it will stay directly to Zadora. Mm -hmm. But one thing that you can uh, realize with the, with the online setup with Zadora, you can now actually look closer to uh, look at the details of the items. Mm, yes. Because if you look at the product, and sort of play around with it, you can enhance and see the actual uh, weed. Let's say you're looking at the fabric, you can see the actual weed, and you can go through the details, which in a regular live fair, you don't have time to look into these things. Mm. But since you're doing everything at your leisure at home, you have time to scrutinize each and every product and then the more it will convince you to click and to shop. Buy. <laughs> okay, Add to cart. <laughs> Add to cart, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yes, I guess that, that works for people who are really into checking the, the details of what they buy. So, yeah, and I know also that products, since they're all uh, made from the Philippines, so it really showcases our artistry. So a lot of them are handmade, no? Mm -hmm. So nice to look at the embroidery, yeah. the beadwork, and all yeah. basket weaving. Paolo was oh, oh, uh, workmanship. Paolo was this uh, a direction that Zalora was looking into, like uh, partnering or supporting local business like this, yes, the small the, players. Certainly. So, so I think uh, when I find found ourselves very privileged that. Mm -hmm. Um, were one of the platforms or, or, or companies during the pandemic that uh, that is benefiting uh, in terms of e-commerce adoption. Of course, as I said, uh, yeah. increasing. Uh, so it's our responsibility to to extend our platform so that one people don't have to go out and can access a broader range of products and categories uh, from home. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we've been doing throughout throughout the pandemic. But in particular, uh, to support. Um, the SMEs, MSMEs, entrepreneurs mm. uh, that will really form the backbone of our economy uh, recovering from the pandemic. Oh, that's and a I good think one. it's uh, you know our, our responsibility really to create these opportunities uh, to allow us to get back on our feet as a country uh, in terms of um, you know the economy and then and, and commercial activity um, and the fact that you can do so safely from your home. Mm. Um, or uh, uh, from your mobile phone specifically uh, through, uh, through our app or visiting our website uh, means that uh, you know, hopefully then that also um, ensures that we do our part in, uh, in uh, um, uh, having people stay home. Yeah. Throughout the pandemic as well, one of the things that we, were, we did was we opened up our platform to uh, donations. So mm -hmm. we raised millions of pesos uh, for a range of different um, NGOs and, and, and partner causes mm -hmm. such as the Philippine Red Cross, mm -hmm. uh, World Vision, uh, and a range of others. 
Uh, so our customers opening up our platform as a donation channel for our customers to also uh, donate to COVID relief efforts has also been something we've done throughout the period. Um, so, you know, for this partnership in a way is another uh, angle of us adapting to the new normal mm. and providing, opening up our platform to these uh, art entrepreneurs and SMEs and, uh, and partners that uh, have worked in Mars in the past in order to, uh, as I said, uh, open them now up to a nationwide audience, yes. which we're very excited about. Oh, nga. So it's bigger and the duration is longer now. It's not just three days for an art affair. Exactly. Albert and I were discussing that earlier that indeed, um, unlike in the offline setting where you would have, you know, of course, the, uh, the, the rent <laughs> to pay for each of the additional time, uh, for, for online, we can actually keep, keep the products and the exhibitors and the Mars Affair flagship store, which we set up as part of the partnership, mm -hmm. we can keep that live um, uh, on an ongoing basis. Uh, so that's something we're exploring. Mm -hmm. uh, but for now, I think uh, it would be great if everyone jumps online and sees the amazing exhibitors that have decided to come online mm -hmm. with us. Uh, you'll find uh, that there's some, some amazing products yeah. um, and perfect given we're entering the Christmas season also. Gift giving season. Yeah, yeah. Paolo, you, you helped uh, set up the Laura Philippines when you were 28 uh, back in 2012. So, um, but, and the company has done really well this past decade. Um, what can you tell us about the changes that um, you noticed during the pandemic and what direction do you think it will take for the company now? I think the pandemic has really just accelerated a number of trends that we were all, that we were already witnessing in the country uh, as, as uh, over the past eight and a half years that the Lara has been uh, operating here. Uh, the um, amazing the digital adoption, our digital savviness as a country, mm -hmm. the fact that we uh, are now doing so um, so many more things online. You know, these are trends that exist that were there before before the pandemic yeah. struck. But I think what we'll find is that when we look back on this period, is that this, is, this pandemic period will really be mm. seen as a time where a lot of these uh, trends were accelerated yeah. and then catalyzed, catalyzed in a very strong way. Mm. Uh, it happened in a very similar way in China, actually, in the earlier part of the century, mm. uh, because of the SARS and MERS epidemics in the earlier part of the century. Uh, this really contributed to the Chinese e-commerce sector really um, growing and then becoming one, you know, the, the main, one of the main channels that people engage in retail in, in China. So I think similarly, we'll see a similar trend locally mm -hmm. uh, where this pandemic mm -hmm. will be seen as a time that really accelerated this uh, e-commerce adoption and this trend towards people shopping online. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that, uh, as I said, uh, I think it's a great thing for the country if it will also uh, democratize and open up the chance for uh, brands, entrepreneurs, uh, SMEs, and SMEs around the country to sell online. Um, sell online. Yeah. I think that's a great thing for the country as well. Yes, it's gonna really boost the economy, help boost it. I mean. <laughs> so, Albert, tell us more about the Maarti Fair. Then, the, who are we going to expect this year? And did you get the same? Yeah, uh, participants same, or did you get new ones? Or do we have new yes, ones? We, we have you know, the likes of Cinamic Vidas, Gifts and Graces, mm -hmm. uh, Creative Definitions, Wimsy by City Life. We invited uh, our regular parties from the Peninsula Marte, except that uh, some of them are not ready to comply to go online with the platform of with the setup of Zalora and we we launched it last week and this is actually the first wave there are more who are going live in the next few days okay. and hopefully until December we're running Maarte online until the end of December we'll have a lot more in fact we got queries of new interested uh, exhibitors and we've opened up our door. I said, okay, send us your 
your profile and uh, we'll get back to you. In fact, uh, this is also a question for Paolo. We are having inquiries of if you can ship overseas. Uh -huh. That is uh, what we hear recently. That's the feedback that we get. Yeah, I think that's something that would, uh, we can think about for the future wave, uh, but at the moment our platform is set up for uh, for just Philippine fulfillment. Mm -hmm. uh, but happy to hear that there's uh, interest, as I said, that, 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 that what we were hoping that this, uh, your individuals would really see this as a channel to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to grow their business and have their business recover through the pandemic. So very excited to entertain any of these further uh, opportunities and the, the, the future ways of exhibitors who can come on board um, because this is, a, as I said, I think uh, something that we hope to not be a one-off partnership and something that happens uh, annually uh, in the future. Yeah. And we understand, Albert, you have uh, sellers who come from Mindanao or are they all based here in Metro Manila? <laughs> Sorry, can I know? You have, Sorry, a, you, know. have a, you have sellers, sellers or artisans mm -hmm. who come from different parts of the country, like Mindanao, Mindoro. How does it ha How is it happening just, now? Or are they based? Or are the family is coming from Negros, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. because uh, Zalora have a have a pickup point or something. They have a center in Bacolod, mm -hmm. so that works for us. Meron mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's also a great idea that in the future, maybe regional, since one thing that we learned about this pandemic is that everything just became cross-border, mm -hmm. uh, even the way we do, especially the way we do business. Yeah. But Albert, in the past, you had some lectures, talks, that great Ma'ar ah. Merienda. How is it <laughs> happening now? <laughs> we, 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 have have we are doing our, our webinars and lectures via Zoom. We call it now, Usapang Maarte, <laughs> or this is to compliment uh, our Maarte at Zalora, mm -hmm. and we still partnered with the Peninsula, mm -hmm. borrowing their images of Salondini. That is where we used to do our afternoon, uh, our Maarte talks. So now we're doing Usapang Maarte with the background of Salondini. Um. And in fact, by November, we have uh, one lined up with Elmer Nochiseda who will talk about the Vanigs, mm -hmm. yung mga mats, local mats natin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's good that our local crafts are being, mm -hmm. I mean, they're back into production, no? Kasi I've heard of a lot of our friends who are also participants of Moarty mm -hmm. Fair who really had to stop. Like they have weaves, they have weavers coming from Cordillera and all, and it's a good thing that we have you have a partner like Zalora, who's really know. supportive of our efforts of our local artisans and artists. Yeah, Paolo, um, can you give us an idea how how Zalora has grown through the years? Uh, I mean, I think I can imagine that right now you're you were a key player in the industry when you started and now you must be like the super giant of the industry. In so, e so please well, uh, ahead of your been, time. Uh, uh -huh. We've been very fortunate that uh, the Philippines has uh, uh, loved, loved the law over the years and uh, we've been able to grow our business mm -hmm. uh, very strongly uh, year over year uh, for the, over the past decade. Uh, I think uh, the best Symbol of that, I think, is that we, during the course of the pandemic, moved into our new uh, home as a company. Mm. Uh, we actually unified our warehouse and our office locations into one uh, new location wow. um, at the um, Mupa Cavite Expressway mm. uh, interchange uh, where Don Hale is in, in the south. Um, and so our new combined facility will house our uh, next generation uh, warehouse where we do still hold stock, so for some brands, mm -hmm. they still prefer to keep stock with us in our warehouse, mm -hmm. uh, and that is an option. Um, and we've increased that item capacity to uh, over 2 million uh, items that wow. we can now carry in that warehouse. Uh, to answer your question, when we first started mm -hmm. eight years ago, we had 
uh, I think, 2,000 items in our warehouse. Wow. So, so uh, it's grown uh, quite significantly since then, and then it's great that we'll be able to, you know, we're still currently on a work-from-home basis for mm-hmm. most functions, mm-hmm. um, other than our frontliners in the fulfillment center. Yes. Uh, but when we do, when this is all behind us, we'll all be under one roof mm-hmm. in our new home, uh, which will be our home for the next decade. Wow. Uh, so uh, it's a great symbol of a growing company, and uh, you know, it's been a very exciting time for us. And part- partnerships like this one mm-hmm. we're doing with Albert and Museum Foundation for Mars Affair, uh, we like to think how we're able to maintain our relevance and uh, and continue to to be successful in the uh, next decade. Yes. I just have a question maybe should... for Albert and Paolo. Were there particular health protocols that you have to practice? I mean, on the part of Maarte Fair and maybe or separately, Zalora, their, your own operations, yes, I suppose. Your right. own. Maybe we'll start with Albert. Are there particular <laughs> health, are there particular uh, health protocols that are needed in uh-huh. that were needed in setting up the this year's Maarte Fair, or wala naman? Mm-hmm. Because you're always on virtual meetings. Not really, because uh, everything was done. It's organized through digital, mm. just through meetings, emails, phone calls. So we did not uh, have any contact with the exhibitors or mm-hmm. when we invite them. We have our Zoom meetings, like a Tango meetings, and then for participations, I mean, uh, bank transfers are being done now so cashless we don't have health protocols mm-hmm. and health protocols are that, that concern me is just with our staff in the office uh, within your own teams na lang, in yeah. Teams actually. Na lang. yes what about you paulo i suppose you are yeah. you have a still have that brick and mortar area the warehouse, the warehouse. Yes. delivery oh, how yeah. did you practice health protocols just to the, the, the most important, uh, you know, what I mentioned is that uh, my most important job over the past eight months has been that of uh, Chief People Officer and Chief Health and Safety Officer uh, <laughs> because indeed portions of our workforce still do uh, report into our fulfillment center and, and, and our operation team specifically who are uh, fulfilling the items for, for our customers uh, are, are on the front lines of the company. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we have from the very beginning put in force a uh, number of very stringent mm-hmm. um, uh, protocols, of course, around physical distancing and around sanitation of the warehouse. Um, we also are, have been uh, run rapid testing on a, on a cycle basis across all of our employees so that we're able to detect early on um, any 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 uh, in incidences of COVID in, in, the, in the warehouse facility. Um, and in terms of sending the, the packages so that you know also that your or, or packages would be safe with us is that we would also disinfect the packages that would be coming out of our facility mm. um, so that you know not only the kind of contactless in terms of setting up the partnership overall, but all the way down to the customer receiving the item, right. uh, you would be ensured that, uh, that that would be a sanitized and, and secure item. Safe. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Because we've been hearing a lot of news about uh, be careful when you order, deliver, etc. But mm-hmm. now we know straight from Zalora, the Zalora CEO himself, how they do things. Well, well, it's not about Zalora, but I mean, in general, you know, when because of the pandemic, a lot of people are thinking about this and that without sometimes we get fake news about <laughs> the, the virus itself. Yes. It's something of, yeah. Now I want to ask you on a personal note. What about your own retail therapy? Mm-hmm. What have you been purchasing so far? New habits? Have or, you been shopping or yeah, not? <laughs> have you been shopping? Let's start with Albert. Uh, Aside from ordering therapy, food. No, you know what? Uh, no. Instantly, instant buying and spree will be when you see friends selling something from their homes. Mm. Like their... Let's say flan, adobo, uh-huh. you know, this stuff, or sinantonang, 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 something. Mm, food. It's mostly food, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. And then, food, food, food. And the other online shopping retail would be gadgets. Mm-hmm. Now I have a room night with me. 
create your Zoom space, right? Yeah. Our God is available on Zalora already, Paolo. Ring lights. <laughs> yeah, no, indeed. So, so uh, we, have, we do now have a very wide assortment of products. So everything I needed to, uh, for, uh, to make uh, the house comfortable, I bought online at Zalora. So I've been spending my time shopping on our own platform. Yeah. Um, which is also good. So I can uh, have the customer customer experience uh, myself directly. Um, mm-hmm. In addition, my my wife has uh, also developed uh, a passion for uh, plants. So uh, she's been uh, she's actually in, in the course of setting up a plant e-commerce site. So uh, soon you'll be able to uh, uh, purchase uh, plants online from my wife. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> my goodness, another reason to shop. I know. <laughs> Um, so I would like to know more about um, what makes you happy when you shop and things like that. But before we <laughs> hear about those things, uh, we'll pause for a short break. Click, click, that's it. Never thought self-service can be this slick. Modify plans in a snap. Walang hirap is a wrap. Just tap the app. Now you can check, view, subscribe, renew. Help and support for you. Out with the ring, ring apps or the in thing. You know what to do. Globe at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. Self-service and easy to use. Mas okay tayo dyan. Globe at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. Instant response, no hold time pa. Wala nang hintayan. Download Globe at home and Globe One app. All in the Globe app na yan. Download the Globe One and Globe at home apps from Google Play Store and Apple App Store now. Download Globe at home and Globe One app. This is a very important story. The important story. Pictures and stories. Today, we feel the weight of history on our shoulders. The way we have been moving leads nowhere. We need to change course. Since the United Nations was founded, the human race has never had to face a set of challenges like we do right now. But together, we can overcome them. Hi, we're back. <laughs> hello, we're back. But first, I'd like to say hello to Gemma Batoon, Mark De La Cruz, Nana Caragay, Donna Lampano, Tina Maralit, John Prieto. They're all watching us right now. Hello. Enjoy. <laughs> hello. Don't forget to shop at Maarte ah, through Zalora. Okay, so you're asking. Yes, we were asking about... Um, I guess, what kind of things do you think people should be buying now? <laughs> I guess. So, pandemic mm-hmm. must-haves. Yeah. What can you recommend? For Albert, is it art? For yeah, Albert, it's know. art. Art makes the world go well, round. One is art. But you know, as you said, you know, Dina, right? Mm. It is art. It makes you happy. Yes. So, you can do the whole spread from food to garments to, to home stuff to lifestyle things. Anything that fancies you, buy it now online. Mm-mm. Plants. <laughs> Plants. Mm. And Paolo, what can you recommend for? Yeah, I think what uh, what we see as well is we actually see the data as to what people are interested in, and uh, we are able to see uh, analytically uh, what the trends are. Uh, so I can share what the numbers say and what the numbers say. Of course, I think there's. Uh, one stream of a uh, product around a uh, fashionable PPE. So, uh, so we carry a range of different uh, masks that uh, are not only uh, safe and, and, uh, and for safety, but also kind of uh, fashion oriented. Mm-hmm. And in general, we see uh, masks and face shields uh, being also something that is still very searched for. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, it's about keeping your sanity at home, I would say. <laughs> Uh, our sports section and sports category has been uh, um, uh, uh, increasing tremendously in sales in terms of interest. Uh, people buying workout uh, equipment, oh. workout uh, or athleisure, if they call it athleisure attire. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe not even for working out, maybe just to be comfortable lounging around the house. Uh, so we're also seeing a uh, tremendous interest in these. Uh, sports or uh, uh, at leisure products mm-hmm. uh, during the pandemic uh, with everyone maybe trying to stay fit or mm-hmm. trying to just lounge around at home. Yeah, that's true, no? 
Uh, it's true for me. Yeah, I guess also, siguro, a lot of people are into, maybe for their pets also, mm. the furry parents. <laughs> they buy a lot of accessories for their pets also. Mm. So uh, Exactly. We have a pet section now in the world as well. Uh, I have three dogs myself, so uh, I'm certainly a pet aficionado. And we do indeed introduce a pet supply section also. So uh, exactly everything you need to keep your furry ones at home happy too. Francine, do you know that um, Paulo Campos is uh, Princeton educated and uh, he had a Harvard MBA. He's very wow. smart. <laughs> <laughs> so um, very blessed, very blessed to uh, <laughs> to have the opportunity to study in very uh, mm. very tremendously strong institutions. <laughs> and you went into Zalora right away. You just had a short stint with um, uh, two companies, right? I did. I so I was previously with the Ayala Group. So I was with Ayala Land mm -hmm. uh, coming out of college. Mm -hmm. uh, that affiliation remains today. Ayala is one of the investors in Dolora, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. So, kind of, we've come full circle from my first job coming out of university. Uh, they're now investors in Dolora. Um, and as well, I worked uh, abroad in Singapore for Boston Consulting Group, mm -hmm. uh, which now also has an office here. Uh, but uh, those were my training and all part of my continuing education uh, to prepare me for, uh, I think, Dolora, which has been uh, my. Uh, Life, lifelong work over the past decade and uh, it's been an amazing ride mm. uh, building a company with uh, an amazing team. I'm very blessed to, uh, to have count uh, 350 mm. uh, the Laura Philippines uh, team members in the country uh, as uh, part of the Laura team and that's what makes the job very rewarding to this day. So you've been working really hard this pandemic, I mean these past months, you've been the busiest I suppose because mm -hmm. So Laura has, a, yeah, has been deep diving to e-commerce yes. just like that. You know? Yeah, so uh, is there anything that you miss doing? Like what would you want to do as, as soon as we all can go out and <laughs> this yeah. pandemic is behind us? I guess it's a question mm -hmm. for both of you. Yeah. What's on your bucket yeah, list? For, for me, it would be the company uh, events and parties that we have. Uh, we've transitioned now to different Zoom events and digital digital parties, uh, but it's still different uh, being able, of course, to catch up with people face to face and having something like a town hall where in the past you'd all be in one room and you can feel everyone's energy and see everyone in one room. Uh, but I certainly miss those occasions and I'm looking forward to gathering the company uh, together. Uh, but in the meantime, no need to put anyone unnecessarily at risk. So we'll remain on a work from home setting right. until uh, until we have to, even we're able to do everything very productively on from home, such as uh, launch our partnership with Marte or uh, from the digital work from home basis. Okay, amazing, eh? yeah. Phone calls. What about you, Albert? <laughs> what do you miss? I know for a fact that I miss going to her gallery, during, especially during yeah, opening. Once we miss our get togethers in the gallery, you know. The human contact with mm -hmm. friends and uh, new friends, yeah, no, 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 even if you accidentally meet them outside, you cannot even get close, sort of close to them, no? No, 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 Francine, how are you? I want to hug you. Let's have lunch. Yeah. We'll just show our own food. Yeah. Buti na lang talaga may shopping. For shopping and for your collaboration. <laughs> yeah. What about plans for future plans of the museum foundation? Other activities aside from Marte Fair? Mm -hmm. Ah yes. Let's see. Uh, we have our regular museum foundation talks, and Sapang Marte is one of that. Uh, and we're doing a project for the National Museum. We're launching Sulyap Museo. Mm -hmm. We sponsored uh, the production of 360 degrees uh, virtual tours for the galleries to the National Museum. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can do this also for the other galleries. We're just doing uh, some details, but soon we will launch it to be available for all for free. And hopefully it can also be an educational tool, tool for the students, those who cannot and haven't visited the National Museum, you can have a glimpse of 
what is in store for you, what is exhibited now in the different categories of the National Museum of Fine Arts, uh, Museum of Anthropology, Natural History, the Planetarium, and that. if it allows us to go to the regions, we also do uh, virtual tours of the museum of the networks of the National Museum. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a great way to help our students right now, no? Mm -hmm. uh, really just studying from the house. And I remember before we'd go to museums as part of our field trips. Mm -hmm. Now that's gone. It's a virtual tour of the museums yes. now for the young ones mm -hmm. to find out. Awesome. So, uh, uh, one of the mantras of this pandemic really to make it to make everybody survive is to support local and buy local mm -hmm. and i guess it's the only way that our economy will be able to energize itself mm -hmm. no dina paula albert so and we're so glad that we have an initiative like this that we're seeing an initiative like moarty fair collaborating with zalora to keep our local entrepreneurs going well can we ask you for your any message, your thoughts about this? Uh, maybe some messages for our local entrepreneurs and shoppers as well. Mm -hmm. Paolo? Uh, yes, Paolo. No, indeed. So, so, as I said earlier, I think it's very important that as a country we remain positive and that we don't despair about the situation we find ourselves in. It's indeed uh, been a long time now that we've been under these conditions, uh, but I think the only way that we will recover and, and, and uh, revitalize, as you said, uh, the economy is through banding together and through uh, doing our part to, to support uh, the return of life as we knew it before the pandemic, um, of course, in uh, safe, safe and in uh, ways that are safe uh, for everyone. Uh, so as such, I think I would encourage all uh, entrepreneurs out there that if you do have uh, an inkling to uh, go online and sell your range of products online, you're very, we're very happy to be very happy to have you online with us at the mm -hmm. uh, But in general, I would say that uh, e-commerce, uh, from what we're seeing, is really a trend that is here to stay, yes. um, and that moving forward, uh, that can be part of any uh, entrepreneur or SME's strategy moving forward, mm -hmm. uh, no matter the type of business. Mm -hmm. um, and that would be, you know, the only way we'll really fight back as a country and get back on our feet is if all of us work together uh, to get our economy going again. Yeah, I like that positive tone. Yes. <laughs> and how about you, Albert, your thoughts about uh, uh, You know, as we, like as per museum foundations, uh, go, we are able to help our exhibiting partners and uh, what can I say? Do not be afraid to collaborate with the experts. There are a lot around who are more than willing to help and to share. Uh, because if you combine our efforts, uh, it will it will help us uh, push uh, economy better or the Philippines or whatever uh, uh, whatever we're experiencing now in. We, it will help us get over things, you know? And then, as always, you know, in these times, you can still be Maarte mm. for a cause. Visit uh, Maarte at Zalora and shop. For every purchase you do at Maarte Zalora, mm. helps the Museum Foundation. Museum Foundation then helps the National Museum, your National Museum. Yeah. So it goes back to you. It's a whole thing. It goes back. Beautiful, I said then. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> that's what we really need right now. We yeah. all recover as one, and mm -hmm. it's great to shop for a cost. Yeah. Right? Aside from feeling good for yourself, we're also feeling good for others, especially at this time. Yeah, so we think this is a perfect example of yes. <laughs> good Walking vibes. <laughs> yes. Our social responsibility right. to others also. Yeah, so um, I think we've come to the end of our conversation. Mm -hmm. We regret to mm -hmm. say goodbye as always. But um, thank you very much to our guests this afternoon, Mr. Albert Avellana and Paolo Campos III. This has been Dina Ventura. And this has been Francine Marquez. And, and this has been, been perfect. perfect. Thank you very much for watching.
Ang Philippine Offshore Gaming Operators o POGO ay isang legitimate business entity na nagbibigay serbisyo sa offshore gaming para lamang sa mga manlalarong nasa abroad sa pamamagitan ng internet. Ang mga serbisyong handog nito ay katulad ng casino games at sports betting na pwedeng laruin kahit wala sa casino. Sa Pilipinas, walang POGO operators. Tanging POGO service providers lamang dahil nagaganap ang mga laro sa labas ng bansa. Bilang bagong mag-asawa, sabay kami natututo sa buhay. Sabay rin namin inaaral ng mga bayarin sa bahay. Kahit kami, nagtaka sa biglang laki ng electricity bill namin. Huwag pong mga bang maputulat. Sinisigurado ng Meralco na walang disconnection hanggang September. Estimated bills lang ang natanggap natin ng March, April, at para sa ilan, May. Dahil sa lockdown, isang tabi to para hindi na maguluhan. Ang May o June ay actual meter reading na. Kung May, nagka-actual reading, ibabawas dito ang huling reading bago mag-ECQ. Yan lang po ang ating babayaran hanggang tatlong buwang konsumo. Kung estimated reading sa May at June nagka-actual reading, ibabawas din dito ang huling reading bago mag-ECQ. Yan lang po ang ating babayaran. Hanggang apat na buwang konsumo, walang labis. Tandaan, kung ano lang na konsumo, yun lang ang babayaran. Ako po si Mateo G. At ako naman po si Sarji. G? G!